Hey friends, I'm Tasia, and these are the top iOS apps of 2020. Every year, Apple reveals their top apps and games of the year. So these are the App Store Best of 2020 winners. So this year, Apple is celebrating apps and games that they say have helped us live more connected and healthier lives with a specific focus on positive cultural impact. Now that last bit may be a bit of a stretch, but let's dive into the list to find out. And first up, we'll start with the iPhone app of the year, Wake Out. Now this app is designed to get you moving, focusing on many exercises you can do even while sitting at your desk. So what you can do is take some quick breaks that are anywhere from one to four minute movement routines. And they also have a little wind down routine that'll help you relax before bed. Okay, now moving on to iPad app of the year. And I'll give you a little hint, Zoom. Okay, so I just told you what it is without the hint, but is it really any surprise that Zoom won the iPad app of the year award? As we all know too well by now, Zoom is a meeting, chat, webinar, and conference platform that allows users to connect virtually from anywhere in the world. Next up is Mac app of the year, and this year, Fantastical takes the cake. Developed by Flexbits, Fantastical is a cross-platform calendar app that boasts features like automatically adding join meeting links directly to your calendar and the ability to create meetings right from your calendar. The power of Fantastical really lies in the ability to add your existing calendars directly to Fantastical. So everything is in sync with you and your team, regardless of whether you're using Gcal or your teammate uses Outlook, etc. The Apple TV app of the year is Disney Plus. No surprise there. Now my favorite thing to come out of Disney Plus all year is my queen, Taylor Swift, blessing us with the Long Pond Studio sessions. Please check it out if you haven't already. It is a strong recommendation. Okay, let's move on to the Apple Watch app of the year. And that's Endel. I hope I'm saying that right. Endel, Endel, anyway. The app provides personalized sound environments to help you focus, relax, and sleep. It's basically like a little meditation app to help calm your mind. I'm curious to know if any of you have used Endel, and if so, what you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. So now let's move on to Apple's best games of 2020, and we'll start with iPhone game of the year, Genshin Impact. This game was released in September of 2020, and it's become quite popular for its fantasy world environment. You can play with up to four players and character switch as necessary. And the iPad game of the year is Legends of Runeterra from Riot Games. Now you may be familiar with Riot Games because you may know the most popular League of Legends. So this game utilizes those champions in this digital card game format. The Mac game of the year is Disco Elysium. I'm probably not saying that right either, but it, it's this. And actually this game is up my alley because it is a role playing game where players take on the role of a detective who's trying to solve a murder mystery. Who doesn't love a good murder mystery? The Apple TV game of the year is Dandara Trials of Fear. Now this is a 2D game set in what Nintendo calls a bizarre universe. Basically, the world of salt is on the brinks of collapse, but a heroine can save it. And now for the Apple Arcade Game of the Year, Sneaky Sasquatch. In this adventure game, your character sneaks onto campsites to try to snag food without getting caught. But there are other activities too, like playing golf, skiing, finding buried treasure, and so on. This game is so cute. The best part, it's a Canadian made game. Okay, so let's round this out with the app trends of the year. Now, Apple considers these to be a reflection of our culture and their current theme for 2020 is helpfulness. So we'll start with an app called Shine. Shine aims to help users practice self care. So you can create a daily ritual like meditate or connect. The next app is Explain Everything Whiteboard. This is a cloud-based collaboration tool for teachers and students. 
It provides a way for groups to still work on projects together, even though they're remote. And the next pick from Apple is Caribou. It features interactive games and books in its real-time video calling platform so that loved ones can connect with each other from afar. And unbelievably, Pokemon Go made the list this year in 2020. They've actually added a lot of at-home gameplay since the pandemic began. Last on the list is Share the Meal. I love this app. This is a fabulous app to easily help someone in need of a meal. With a simple tap on your phone, you can feed a child in need. All it takes is about 80 cents US to feed a child for an entire day. Can you believe that? So far, Share the Meal has shared about 93 million meals. So like I said, these are Apple's picks, but we can actually run through a list of the most popular downloaded apps of the year for iPhone. So let's focus on some free apps. So we'll run through the list here of the free downloaded iPhone apps. And surprise, surprise, number one on the list is Zoom. Gee, so surprised. Number two is TikTok. Number three is Disney Plus. Four is YouTube, followed by Instagram and Facebook. Then we have Snapchat at number seven, we have Messenger at number eight, Gmail is number nine, and the Cash app is number 10. Now I definitely use, oh, let's see, quite a few of these on a daily basis, but my most used apps every single day are probably the Messages app. I send a lot of iMessages, um, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube and the Google app, actually, I would say are my most used apps. So now I wanna hear from you guys. What are your most used apps on iPhone? Free or paid, let everybody know in the comments below. So those are the top iOS apps of 2020. What do you think of Apple's App Store best of 2020 winners? Do you use any of these apps? Let everyone know in the comments below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, I wanna know. So give it a like, a share, or leave that comment below. You can click right about here to subscribe to my channel and here and here for even more content. Thanks for watching guys. See you next year.